Good morning. Uh, welcome to Currency Change Daily Markets Update on Thursday, the 3rd of October 2013. My name is uh, Laurent Gilbaud, Managing Director at CurrencyChange.com, local solution for your international payments. You can upon an account for free with us um, on our website with no obligations to exchange on CurrencyChange.com by clicking on the button on the right hand side, uh, open an account, and you will benefit from our most competitive exchange rates in the market when you send your money abroad. Key topic of the day in markets, uh, markets reaction to the US government shutdown remains surprisingly modest, expecting that this shutdown will be short lived, that the market move. The 17th of October debt ceiling deadline to raise the limit is a key date, but investors remain focused on U.S. stats to better anticipate the beginning of the tapering, which means less contributing for the U.S. In U.S., Obama met with Republican and Democrat leaders yesterday to try and break uh, uh, this deadlock, but there was no breakthrough. Lack of progress does not bode well for the more important upcoming debt ceiling debate on the 17th of October. The activities this morning suggest that the government shutdown could slow the housing market via bringing the mortgage application process to halt. Mortgage applications deceased by 0.4% from one week earlier, according to the data from the Mortgage Bankers Association. Two cases, U.S. resolution found, debt ceiling avoided, U.S. dollar will bounce up early, given it has been under pressure during uh, this crisis. If there is no resolution found, the debt ceiling is breached, the focus now matters if we start talking of partial default. This would then lead to a bigger crisis. Sell-off in U.S. Treasuries, U.S. dollar strength. Then in both sides, U.S. dollar up. The euro traded sharply higher yesterday following ECB President Draghi press conference. According to the latest IMM report, speculators are currently the longest position on euro at the highest level since 2011. The tone of Draghi wasn't uh, dovish, which surprised the market, but the political outlook remained unstable. In Italy, the announcement that the Prime Minister later's government won the vote of confidence was a defeat for Mr. Berlusconi. In Germany, negotiations are taking place to agree on a formation for the coalition government, which could take up to a month to, to get resolved. In UK, service PMI is the main focus for today on sterling. The market is expecting the headline index to be unchanged from last month. Both the manufacturing and construction PMI for September surprised marginally on the downside but had little impact on sterling. Sterling remains supported by continued safe haven demand versus euro and dollar and could see a break above the 162.50 area in sterling dollar which has been a strong resistance for a couple of years. In Asia, China services PMI rose to 55.4 in September from 53.9 in August. Royal Bank of New Zealand Governor expects policy rates to rise by 2% from 2014 to the start of 2016, so probably one of the first G10 to raise rates. In terms of live exchange rates, we are live on sterling dollar, 162.22, higher than yesterday. Sterling euro, 119.30, higher than yesterday. Euro dollar, strong rebound yesterday, 136.02 versus 144 yesterday. Sterling Australian dollar, 172.10. Sterling New Zealand dollar, 194. Economic agenda for today, UK time. Uh, we had at 8 o'clock UK house prices Halifax, which were lower than expected at 0.3% versus 0.5. Then we have at 9 o'clock market services PMI September, expected 52.1, uh, release 52.2 in line. 9.30 UK market services PMI, expected 60. 10 o'clock euro retail size, minus 1.5%. 3 o'clock USD uh, ISM uh, for September, 57.4. And 3.30 US dollar weekly jobless claims, expected at 3.15, a bit higher. If you require further information, please visit now at currencychange.com or contact us on plus 44 Have a nice day.